on the upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. Um, how does it feel to be here tonight and be nominated for this award? Uh, we feel great, yeah, this is amazing. You know, it's, um, we're a very small Irish language film that started off uh, with not a lot of fanfare in the beginning and just over the last year or so, it's, it's really grown and um, come to the attention of a lot of people, including obviously the, the, the critics um, who are behind these awards tonight. So we're just really grateful for everything that's come our way and I'm really excited to uh, you know, share this evening with fellow filmmakers and many of whom I, I have such admiration for. So yeah, it's great to be here. And of course, I think we also have to mention this incredible Academy Award nomination, you know, and the first Irish language film to, to have that. That must feel like almost like one of the, you know, the biggest achievements. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, back home in Ireland, everyone is really buzzing about the fact that an Irish language film is going to be at the Oscars. It's the uh, first time there's ever been an Irish film in this category at the Oscars. And um, yeah, it's, you know, it's a stuff of dreams, you know, it's, um, but we're, we're uh, more than happy to be there and uh, we're going to give it our all now in this last phase of the, the, the campaigning of it and, and we'll see where we land. But uh, yeah, it's just an honor to be there and amongst all these other movies. And just to take a step back, you know, for people who haven't seen it yet, can you give us just a brief outline of what they can expect if they watch The Quiet Girl? So The Quiet Girl is a, it's a period piece, it's set in 1981, and it's about a young girl who comes from a dysfunctional family, uh, an overcrowded family, her mother is pregnant again with a, a, an unwanted child, and um, she gets sent away for the summer, in this, uh, this particular summer, uh, to live with distant relatives. And the story becomes an examination of the relationship that forms between this young girl and these sort of surrogate parents over the course of this one magical summer. And of course you've got this incredible central performance from, from Catherine Clinch, I mean, how is it discovering her and, and working with her and then seeing the response to her to her acting? Well, we always say Catherine is kind of the little miracle that this film needed, you know, because she's she's in literally every scene, like 99% of the scenes of the film she's in, and the entire film rests on her shoulders. So we knew that, like, we knew our film, you know, it was make or break that one casting decision, and it took us, it took us about seven months to find her. And when we did, we just felt such elation and joy because we knew we had found our coach. Yeah, that's the name of the character in the film. Uh, and we just couldn't get started quick enough. We were just so excited to, to work with her. She's an extraordinary young lady, and I'm really excited to see what she does, does next. And what do you think it is about the film that's really captured people? You know, is it the themes in there? Is it the look and feel of it? You know, just kind of what's captured people's imagination so much? I think it's it's a mixture of things. You know, it's the kind of the emotional undertow of it, I think it's so strong. Um, in a weird way, it's like the fact that it's very specifically Irish, I think it holds a certain fascination for people. But then it's also the fact that the, the underlying themes of the, of the work are utterly universal. So that, you know, no matter where we bring it in the, around the world, you get the same reaction to the film, particularly by the end of the film. It's the, precisely the same emo emotional reaction to the film, which speaks to, you know, the original. This Our film is an adaptation of Foster by Claire Keegan. Um, the Booker shortlisted author and uh, you know that work itself has been translated into many languages and is an utterly universal work so we feel like we were we were just sort of transferring the essence of what Claire created to a different medium and yeah it's done pretty good I think so we're very proud. Well really enjoy the evening best of luck tonight and of course best of luck for, the, for that Oscar as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely to chat to you thank you.